be intentional. A young man came to me and said, I want you to be my father in the Lord. He said, Pastor, when I looked at him, I must be honest to you. I said, no, no, no. Because you are coming to meet a man to father, you appear well now. Must you appear like the, his belt on his weight was like a suicide rope. The shoe was that shoe Moses was wearing and God said, pull your shoe, pull your shoe. I said, at least appear well. Your first impression matters. Don't discourage me. He just came, he came as if I was Jesus. Come as you are. He just came. So I said, no, no, no. The Lord said, father him. Ah! I said, it's okay, stand up, stand up. What's your name? He told me, where are you from? He told me. I said, no problem. Go to my secretary, do a letter. Let's have your information and they'll tell you what to do. While I was going, say, excuse me, sir. I heard that there's a minister's conference coming. I said, yes. He said, I do not have money to come for it. Can you give me money? To... I said, wait, is this mentorship or sponsorship? I should give you money. Today, you became a song. And today, I start paying bills. I said, this is a bad sign. This is a bad sign. The Lord said, give him. I counted. I gave him. He left. The day of the conference, I come to church looking at some projects and buildings going on. And I spotted him coming down from a car. So I, I turned my back. Before I knew it, somebody tapped me. How he broke through the protocol, I don't know. He tapped me and I turned. He said, Papa, you saw me come in and you just... <laughs> I said, what kind of trouble have I entered? He said, Papa, the truth is that that money you gave me is finished. I need to stay. I need to feed. Can I say, God said, give him. Ah, ah. I gave him. I was now talking about some books that came out. I told the pastors, buy this book, buy this book. I saw this guy in the crowd. He carried the book in bulk. I was giving people. He paid from my money. I was buying books for pastors, giving, distributing books. I said, this guy, come and meet me at the end of the service and collect money. You will see. I have planned. While they were still praying and praying, I sneaked to my car. They were still praying, no. This guy sneaked from the prayer and came to stand in front of me. I said, you again? He said, money finished. I said, if I slap you, you were buying books for people. Why did you let them buy by themselves? He said, they didn't have money. I said, oh, Santa Claus, you have money. He said, sir, give me money. Said, I'm your son. No. I said, what kind of trouble is this one? The Lord said, give him. I gave him. He doesn't call me. He'll just send me messages. I'm broke. In fact, that was one of the most dangerous connection I've seen in my life. Very annoying. If I just see his message, there's this anger that just wells up <laughs> inside my spirit. I say, Father, what have I done to you that you choose to punish me like this? So most time he's just messaging, messaging me. I say, Hey, how much? How much? I send. When the Bible said, God loveth the cheerful giver, that scripture was not applicable to me because I was grudging. One day he was calling, 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 calling. I said, you know, I don't take calls. Send the message. He said, Papa, pick up this call. Level has changed. I said, okay. Your level has changed from, for, uh, from asking for small money to asking to, for big money. This boy is in trouble. And I pick up. I said, what happened? He said there was a man I prayed for some years ago and I prophesied that this year they're going to have a baby. The woman had no womb. God bless them. They had a the baby. They called me to dedicate the baby. Papa, they gave me five checks because the zeros were too much to contain in one check. He said, Papa, all of them have cleared. Papa, send me your account number. I said, my son! <laughs> Why are you laughing? Do you know what I went through? I said, my son, I always believe in you. I always knew you are going to be great. He said, Papa, don't talk too much. I feel like sending you something. When he wired the thing, pam, pam, pam. I said, I don't understand. All this for me, he said, Papa, more are coming. He said, you are my father. I say, hey, please, oh God, help me to obey you continually. It doesn't matter whether it's convenient, whether it's convenient or not, whether I feel pain, help me to obey you. It doesn't matter how I feel. Let my emotions not override your instruction. 